Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing right now as good old New Reno, led by Mr. Bishop, a local celebrity. Soon after the Enclave defeated Navarro, a new bishop a child was born, imbued with a great wonderlust and tenacity. He cared little for his family's problems until he seized control over the family of 13 and led them into power over Reno. However, after other mobs still threatened his rule. We were the biggest little city in the wasteland, which actually I've been to Reno, Reno, Nevada itself is a kind of, quite a nice little city. Welcome to Reno, the friendliest place you'll ever go. On behalf of the New Reno Church Association, we'd like to share some of our earlier history in this affordable three cap pamphlet. Our best frenemy. The NCR dominates the West Coast and we have many profitable ties with it. Many of our citizens are proud to be associated citizens of the Republic. If you are not an NCR citizen, please skip to the section on how NCR Rangers do not have jurisdiction over here or over non citizens pursuant to the Treaty of 2251. Before the atomic fire rained on from high, Reno was the biggest little city in the world, but now, actually I've been to the sign too, it's an awesome city, it's a pretty cool sign. Our wonderful little city lives as a place of harmless fun, where you can enjoy some booze, company, and recreation free from prying eyes. Do you know what we're most thankful for? All those cars. The casino survived in a perfect condition, good for business. Those old military outposts survived, firearms for everybody, which actually wouldn't be bad. Um, but we're going to go with the casinos, because being in Reno before, really cool. Been in Vegas, been in Reno. Nevada's an awesome state, as far as I can tell. There's probably some issues with it, but still, new family on the block. As you may already know, there was originally four families in New Reno, but only three of the four continue to exist today. Another had taken its place. This family is known as Van Grass. Just remember not to break any contracts with them and taking the next step. Lucky you, you've arrived in Reno at a great time. It seems all the families are funding projects across the cities, from youth centers to better opportunities with the NCR. There's never been a better time to visit New Reno. The coming of the NCR. The NCR has been our greatest blessing and curse. We can hardly have had a vigorous trade, tourist trade without a prosperous economy to draw tourists from, after all, but their tariffs and grasping reach are a bit of a problem. In the 2040s, uh, Reno was divided between four families, the Mordinos, Bishops, Wrights, and Salvatores. The Mordinos tried to control Northern California through the control of the jet trade, but that distribution of jet cured by the chosen one crippled that plan. We've chased away those hooligans out of the city to leave them to sculpt in a wretched den of scum and villainy. The Salvatores had a shining moment of power, but their mysterious source of laser weaponry seemed to vanish overnight. Today, they work to build careers for some of the city's wayward youths. The rights of civic restoration efforts blossomed, but too many citizens declined to give up the folks and charm which brought you here on vacation, and the bishops, why? John, Bishop, and his son were wise enough to see that friendship with the NCR was a wave of the future. Aren't they swell? This pamphlet was paid for by the Shark Club Casino. Shark Club, where you'll feel like a shark among minnows. Let's go to the Shark Club. Monthly population, stability, and passive caps. Thank God for the rights. Libraries, research speed, infrastructure, and civilian construction speed, more money. And Mordinos, didn't they used to be a big deal? Better debating training time, more tech, and defense of court territory, war support. Uh, what are the brothels? But we have the tourist trade. Both Vegas and Reno consider themselves the greatest tourist destinations of the wasteland. While House may be proud of the lights of Vegas, Reno has been serving California for decades. Through a series of ad campaigns, the two cities of sin will conquer the pockets of the wasteland. Currently, Vegas has less than a thousand tourists, while we also have less than a thousand tourists. Let's see how much we rate in for the latest set of customers. For every thousand tourists, we get a ten thousand. NCR dollars. But we have more, if we have more tourists than our opponent, we'll gain a bonus $5,000 for each thousand. Tourism season results. High criers. Hiring criers will make, a pop, pop, make us popular in any matter of seconds, but it may still attract some tourists for a city. Buy signs. We'll hire some artists and make them create signs of a city, learning more and more people. Launch small ad campaigns. Launching small ad campaigns will get us of flyers, criers, and brand neon signs. This campaign is not a very big one, but little by little, and our city will be known by everywhere in the wastes. Er Medium campaign. Medium ad campaign will consist of short radio announcements, big neon signs, and building of new small tourist attractions, and launch large advertisement campaigns. Large ad campaigns will consist of one minute radio announcements, special tourist tours, building of new tourist attractions, and free discount coupons for everyone visiting your city for the first time, and attest opponents of tours to us. Oh. I go to that New Vegas when you can visit us. We're clearly much better than them. New Vegas anti advertisement. Did you know that New Vegas used dirty money to build their business? We didn't else. But we didn't. We're better than them. Now, let's go with a small ad campaign. Building a scavenging thing. Um, just in case, we're going to start buying some guns too. You never know. You could always use more guns, right? That's right. Mama Van Graaff. The Van Graaffs are trading gold, energy weapons, and frankly, anything that makes a cap. Some may criticize their tactics, but none can deny that they provide capital to the new ventures in Reno. While I consider a list of places where they extended their open hand. Very nice. Uh, chop Shop's legendary for stolen machines. Salvage motorcycles, Chop Shop. Ooh, who can forget the cat's paws? Oh, you only go for the ads? It's not bad. 
New unit arms spreading fire part of the raiders for decades. It's not bad. We get quite a few weapons, but we can always buy more weapons. We're Reno, for God's sakes. Do we get power armor at all? No. So here, bonus, over tourism. Get Queen of Reno. I like Spec Ops. Uh, sophisticated Spec Ops is very strong. More Spec Ops. Spec Ops. Strength of the Van Graffs. Right now, we're led by the Mr. Bishop. With the rights, Broken Brothers, Van Graffs. Well, I think I'm going to go with this one. I like the civvies. Get a little more war sport too, which is nice. A caring folk. New Reno's Van Graffs, right? Salvatores and bishops may disagree, but all of them wish to see our fair city prosper. Oh, they may get a bit heated at times, but their disputes over leadership of the city show they care. The Salvatores bishops of Rice still push initiatives to assert control over the city, ultimately consolidating influence. And the Van Graffs, why? They're happy to help all the customers. And perhaps the rumors that Mama Van Graff finally found Mr. Ryder correct. Could love being the heir in New Reno. Anything is possible. Subject to terms and conditions. Consult with your next of Kim before taking the ghost tour through Golgotha. The rights offer scholarship. Bishops run an advertising campaign in NCR. The Broken Brothers unite families. Okay, oh god. Broken Brothers. Elites, intellectuals, are people. Well, if we go this route, we need to be elites. Broken Brothers, we can become ghouls. Interesting. So this is our focus tree. Uh, we could go ghouls. I don't know if I want to go ghouls though. That would be pretty unique. Reject humanity. Wash over them like a wave of blood. Get more, way more attack. That's honestly worth it. California investments, not elites. If we want the Van Graffs, they are the rulers. We are currently people. We can have the rights. Oh no, we can't have the Broken Brothers, United Families. I really don't know which way we want to go. The Vengeful Sons. The Black Vultures, Pablo's Conquistadors, Psychos, huh, interesting, Ghoul Paratroopers, Automatons, Junk City Gladiators, Vengeful Sons, Infantry Equipment, it's not all bad, Queen of New Reno, we get a war with NCR. I kind of think that's a good goal to get. Maybe going towards the Van Graaff side of things. Ruler. As long as we're not elites. Go with you. Oh, Christopher Wright. Look at this guy. Well, the family. Gardens and temperance will flock to our cause. Setting up schools. Reno school is not bad. Strengthen the Van Graaff's influence. You lose political power, which you don't like. Reno speakeasies. New Reno Police Department. Get four police divisions. Not bad. The Masters of Our Fate. Picnic at the Pyramid. Sophisticated Electronics. Creating an opening. What am I going to the War of the Vipers? I'm going to research slap. White Pond. The streets in New Reno belong to Bishop. If we want to hold our power, and we'll have to put some of our pawns on the streets to keep the peace. And ensure our rivals don't stand a chance. Our citizens will no doubt support the locals over some gang of lawless criminals. Advanced Jet Formula. While Jet may have been our ticket to power before the farm before its formula, it has long been in the hands of folks who didn't appreciate our chemical purity. With that little brat of our chief chemist stabbed to death, we'll have to turn our eyes and make a new formula. We'll grab any sign out the streets we can uh, we can ensure this is successful. The family. The rights have long been stood as a family in Reno. Maybe we, we may be ruthless profiteers, but we still try to hold the unity and stability that our loyalty brings. If we want to take over the city, we'll have to temper our feuds with each other. Purge. Oh, oh Ch Chief Thrad reigns supreme. Interesting. Oh, the circle goes. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. Can we upgrade Reno? Yes, please. Because we got the political power for it, we might as well, right? 
good. Alright. Great. More money, please. Let's get your theorists. Big military theorists. You might as well. Big shot, Bob. Why not? Empire of Sin. New arena is a nation inspired by the previous gangs and mobsters of American legend. With a city dealing in drugs, prostitution, and far more of the city underbelly. No one ever said it was a pretty life to replicate. Yeah. Truck club. We can save that one for later. Parlay with Van Graffs. Chaos and Veil territories. Take them to church. Yeah. Well, staff and stuff is fine. Take them to church. While our family may not be the most sinless organization in the wasteland, we should still uphold some values that we want to be appreciated by our citizens. Building and investing in churches for the folk will boost our popularity while making us seem more pious in the eyes of the people. Yeah, why not? Sounds good to me. I think we might just go conventional warfare. It's probably the route we're going to take this campaign. Oh god, 1,000? We have 3,000. New Vegas will lose 5,000. Well, that wouldn't be worth doing. There's 2,000. That one's fine to do. Gives more political power, too. And stability. Let's go for the stability first. Ghoul marriage. Special forces wouldn't be bad. Mercenary instructors? Maybe? Reno has no standing fighting force unless you consider the mobsters of the individual families. Instead, we must rely on mercenaries as their armies. The vast wealth of Reno means their mercs' contracts will last very, very long, however. Precautions. Setting up schools. While we aren't exactly the kind of people that enjoy giving a charity with no kickbacks, Still feel good cause that would help us should we invest in them. Investing in schools for the poor will no doubt increase our stability and ensure that we have far more intellectuals in Reno. She almost said Rome for some reason. Mobsters, eh? I prefer the Reno mobsters. Four thousand oh god, that's not good. Any more divisions. I'm gonna set up some schools. Shotgun weddings. Merc military, Merc radio. Uh, Cap's expenses goes up, which I don't like. Overhauling doctrines. The militias of the new arena may not be the finest warriors in the wasteland, but we certainly teach them a thing or two. We're out of some veterans to teach new blood a thing or two in the wasteland of in the wasteland warfare. Nice. Hmm. I'll probably go conventional. Oh. And we're also in historical too. So, oh, what is all this? This is different. Renesco's pharmacy, monthly population, medical technology research speed, better, better caps expenses, and better support companies. Buy us the thing or get the heck out. New, you know, arms, new, new, the special family discount. More soft tech, better production costs, and research speed for ballistics. The Golden Globes, for power research, stability, passive caps income. Since the founding in 2237, the Golden Globes, based out of Nerino, have brought joy and pleasure to thousands across the wasteland. Who can forget the chosen one's own film, Vault 16? Oh wow. The Golden Globes, of course. Just Master. Oh wow. Mr. Bishop won't accept. Uh, our takeover line down, but he's perfectly willing to play the scheming vizier, vizier for now. Help control the arena's wayward souls, but be selling to send at the same time. That's not bad. 25% so much. All Crookshanks. Tierra Van Graaff. That's not bad either. Tommy the Balls. No one knows when he first showed his face in Reno, when he came from, where he came from, or even which family he works for. 
What they do know for sure is that if you screw with Tommy the balls, it'll be the last thing you do. Steal. Steal Mark Torrance, a boxer turned personality. Torrance's bouts in the jungle gym have earned him more than a little respect, something he's more than delighted to wheel for the benefit of himself and anyone with him on the payroll. Cody, orphan at a young age, Cody was forced to make do in Reno's hostile streets. It was thanks to in part to the encouragement of an outsider who came to the city many years ago that the child was given the resolve he needed to beat the odds. Wielding his naturally observant nature and ex excellent cunning, Cody worked, worked his way up to the top of the city's criminal ladder as a late teenager and more than impressive feat in its own right. Arms industry, that seems really good. Oh, that's not bad either. Monthly population, medical research, caps expenses goes down. I like the, I gotta go with the caps expenses. Anything unique here? Nope. She state declared war on them. Got here, sure. At least we got four things here. 3,000, 4,000. No men to spare. Oh crap. Go to guns. Yeah, we are. Taking them to church. Rainbow Raiders. Don't listen to the cries of the Rainbow Raiders. They may have in the past been a ruthless gang in California, but today they're a vibrant community who helped develop the NCR. Unlike the Legion, we'll welcome all who can contribute to a shining city on a hill. And Merc Military. With Merc speaking now, substitute the need for conscripts and soldiers. This allows us to raise divisions far quicker than we could ever previously thought. Obviously, this comes with some raised cost, but investing further in mercenaries would no doubt raise the quality of our troops. The Jackals must their defense against them. Some drug trade, yay! Mr. Bishop. The mechanists, mechanists. Fire team, but I can throw on these on here too. Just in case. Shotgun weddings. Van Graffs are cunning a lot, the value business over conflict. Having the Mazazas would help us remove the bishops from power, while we would have slaughtered the Van Graffs now. They now have the tactical value. Organizing a wedding between the rights and the Van Graffs will only benefit us while ensuring, uh, Stability in Reno. Spectacular indeed. This is why I did what I did. Giving us a little more defense. Oh, the toy rockets. Rock Lockheed Aeronautics toy rocket. One time use. These plans will expire after completing a mission. It's actually kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Should be fine. I'm not super worried about the Thorn the Reaper. Hey, it's going to be a spider. That's good. Yeah, we're going to church. That was 5,000. That's what we'll do. Down, that's not a big deal. You know, want to try to beat us up? There's a population increase, huh? Reno Speakeasy. Is ever the temper of people over utopian New Reno and need a place to relax? So you could treat an alcohol as Orville right straight and led to prominence as the family. So it only makes sense to build speakeasies across Reno for safe, responsible entertainment, of course. Expanding. 
ability. It's going after training. Give more daily armor XP, anyways. Uh, you know what? We'll do it anyways because we can. Screw it. Something radically different. <clears throat> New Reno Police Department. Why? New Reno does not discriminate based on the color of one skin. Well, look at the wonderful super mutants who were hired to work in our police department. Please be careful of taking pictures, as bright lights startle some of them. Nice. There's some season results. Look at that. Um, sure. Welcome to our show around the way. This is your host, Bryce. And oh boy, do we have some new and interesting places for you to visit in t our today's episode. <clears throat> new Reno. City of Sim. Uh, where everything is possible, the biggest little city in the wasteland. New Reno will satisfy any of your needs, even the ones you feel uncomfortable talking about. Exactly in New Reno, the famous and infamous Golden Gloves are located. Even the single fact of the, that makes the city more than worthy to visit. Except for that, there will be a plenty of fashionable establishments like Desperado Casino, Shark Club, and Cat's Paw. Come visit New Reno and you won't forget about what to visit. About that visit for the rest of your life. Let the money roll in. Because we have more tourists and our opponent will gain $5,000 more dollars for every thousand tourists. Nice. That's cool. It's going to build us up more, though. It's not enough. West End Economy. Woke up drama would be nice, but still. Um, Mr. Chess, Mr. I don't mind losing 10% stability for that much more political power. That's a lot of PP. Gym rats, huh? The Savage 2210, the jung Jungle Gym is now the largest northern facility in northwest Nevada. Its boxing matches with the South Legend, but try our new yoga studio as well. Hot yoga can't be beat, especially if you try the radioactive version. Heck yeah. Trading, yeah. Perhaps some tourist season. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Um, let's get special forces first. Hello. The den is just a fine one of us. Ah. Gym rats. Three, oh, the masters of our fate, the right stuff. Huh. Raiders. Ghoul mirror. Well, many outsiders are intolerant. Reno's welcome extends even to ghoul human relationships. Perhaps you meet the love of your life here? You never know. Super auxiliaries, that's not bad, but we'll probably use you know, volunteers still. Five thousand, we have seven thousand. I mean more. More money. Hello, when do we get paid next? Not soon enough, that's right. Economic advisors. Liam Elridge. Owner of the wildly successful Nerino Arms and Premier Weapons Supplier, the Made Men, Elridge's collection has shared out the missing piece to solve your problems. Uh, which was always good. Jagged Jim and Jay. Though one of the many peddling drugs in the birthplace of Jet, Jim insists he's not like the other dealers. One could already gather as much from the distinguished facial scar, which doubles as his namesake, but Jimmy goes to great lengths to keep his customers happy and in for the long haul, so he claims. Enrico Salvinelli. For decades now, Salvinelli's stood as a well respected head of the new Reno uh, Redding Caravan. Well, all the mercs, uh, or merchants, succumbed to the hazards of the route before the barons of the NCR got the things to be orderly. Sal Savinelli's stoutly low guards and blunt negotiation tactics makes him and his crew stand alone. It's not bad. Let's get another focus going, though. Cool marriage. <coughs> Pragmatic investor. 
As the owner of the Morning Star Mon, Dan McGrew ultimately failed to line Redding with New Reno to protect it from the annexation into the NCR. But this realistic outlook and strong belief in autonomy earned him respect from both his minds and the crime capital out east. <clears throat> Morning Star still operates in Redding, but while Spartans keep the profits coming, McGrew grew t has taken a residence in commercial raw. Using his business savvy and pristine reputation with the made men, McGrew took bankroll to team projects to build new shops on the west side and clear debts, or clear debris off critical infrastructure in the north, endeavors which have greatly benefited the local economy and behind the stick. Broken Hills may have run dry, but the town's old ghoulish bartender have no plans to let his work there be his last call. Fiercely dedicated to his craft, Phil scraped together what he could to set up shop just on the outskirts of Reno, making him more than decent living out there while doing what he did best. After all, Phil's known to be about as good as mixing with people as he is mixing with drinks, a trade which has gotten him into more than a little gossip he'll happily tell for the right price. More caps income, better trade income, passive caps, consumer goods, ballistics, weaponry. Oh, we're damn McGraw. Oh, we're at war. Oh, look at that. Should have realized that. Well, we're gonna have a bunch of gym rats here then. I want y'all to lead. Four divisions, four divisions. Well, if we're gonna have four divisions, that kinda sucks. Special forces win here, maybe. Either way, we're gonna ground a lot of army XP, hopefully. 5,000. So this is a whole balancing act here we got. Hopefully we can win here. Sport equipment motorized. Empty tank we got. Which is good. Ooh, it's a little hard to click on now, ain't it? Doing this would help ex help expand what we got here. Because if this doesn't work, well, then we'll just set them up so that they think they can beat us up. Salvatore's legacy: the Salvatore's time in the sun went white like a flash, but they still have their friends in New Reno. Indeed, despite all cities, general qualms about a fine city. They've built lovely ties to that charming little city. Nice, Jim Rats. Good. Come on. Get him, boys. There we go. Let them do their worst. You guys can do this. But you guys are gonna do this. Boop. Nice. I like being on the defense for this one. Thousand, we've got ten thousand. It's not bad. We'll be welcome, welcome to army. That's right, command. Oh, we can't do very much, can we? Ooh, so robots. Oh, whoops. Tourism re season results. Well, we did really well here. Tourism population increase. Not bad. What's the military staff like? Mortal Titan. That's a dope chapter. Chief Threat of the Immortal. The Bear of Reno, that's pretty good. Flash in the pan. Fire teams and demo equipment. Colonel Yalabert. It's not bad, even though we don't get motorized attack, it still benefits us quite a bit here. I like it that we have options though, it's very nice. You know what, screw it, you're gonna go this way first. Hmm. 
Yeah, time of the balls is really good. More compliance, recruitable population. Those investments. We've always had ties to the NCR, and for a while, Florida was becoming a state, sadly. They never made the concessions the bishops wanted in order to annex a charming little town, but now far go traders. Wish us to invest in a local economy. There's no one known that they could help us shift our tourism based economy to something more permanent. However, this will strengthen the bishops' influence in our city, but they'll mediate for a stronger ties to the NCR. So, worse could happen. This is our turf. That's right. Star Wars stash. Remember that even though the Salvatore family may be gone, they still have stashes of weapons and other lost equipment in the city. If any stash is found, please contact the local and friendly New Reno Police Department. Try it. Infantry, too thin. So you mean police? We're gonna drastically reduce how much manpower we have. Imminent raid from the jackals. Well, god dang it. There you go. Now they're attacking us too. Interesting. Sim one at least. No, we're doing quite a bit here. Vengeful Sons, Black Vultures, Pablo's Conquistadors, the Roaring Bears, the Infantry Division Attack and Recovery Rate, Blitzer, Vengeful Sons is not bad, Erratic Engineer, no, Pablo. Pablo's Conquistadors are a veteran unit of highly disciplined infantry out of the southern land of Mexico. They're very adaptable and well trained and can be utilized in almost any situation. Raid repelled, very nice. Dance with lock, eh? Fine for now, at least. You know what? Gotta keep going on conventional warfare, at least. There you go. Good. And if they want to keep attacking us, that's fine with me, too. Nice. Road Psychos. Najima clan. It's not bad. Junk City Gladiators. Najima clan. Should go with this one. Road Psychos. Najima clan. I 
Hell hammers. Motorized vehicle. Well. Road psychos, huh? I don't see them anywhere, though. Hellhammer's isotope. That for that's that one. Road. Medium tactician. Hmm. The Najima clan used to be Japanese enslaved. They were subjugated and enslaved by the Chinese before the war in their colossal submarines. Now they're a warrior clan that is forced to be reckoned with as they as they use vehicles to swarm and terrorize the enemies. Just extra interesting, but whatever. The bishop doing a good job. Hellhammers. Well, this one doesn't really help us out that much. I guess hellhammers. The hellhammers are crazy, but originally organized band of men obsessed with armaments. Extremely skilled in artillery and heavy weaponry. They're quite possibly the greatest line of defense in any city could ask for. Ah, we made it. Nice job, guys. to do it now no but you know whatever is what it is ah attack us in there at war too nice job guys now Pablo so combat with that becomes support it's fine whatever Oh, good. Yeah, good. A lot of money. It's great. Love it. It's rolling in the dough, my guys. Nice, nice, nice. So, uh, the game just auto pieces us out, which kind of sucks. Um, so, we no longer wore the den, so I decided, you know what, we're just going to go back to wear them manually anyways. Um, which is unfortunate. You know, we were doing so well. I was taking too much time, I guess, but we did cash for loyalty. Though many say mercenaries' allegiances are fragile at best, money is the greatest motivator for many living in the wasteland, and we have lots of it. And a military council funding. And an almost unprecedented act. Okay, formalize a council of mobsters devoted entirely to arranging military actions among the mobster bodyguards and mercenary armies we have on contract. And while we can do this one, mutant tactics, I think we'll go with the Van Graaff advisors. See what you will about Mama Van Graaff, but when it comes to war, she knows her stuff. Why don't we give her a seat on the council? Can we get sophisticated infantry tech? Nice. Destruction of Mount Rushmore, of course. Um, 
I'm close out of this stuff, that's fine. We don't need this one either for now. 2,000. We have 17,000. That is quite a bit. Oh, we got one more now. Science. Plan building a lab. That'd be nice. Hmm. Good increase of political power, I guess. Really wanted to. Don't have to, though. Surprised we haven't won this war yet, but there you go. Not bad. Please attack us again sometime. Oh, oh that's not good. Uh, it's fine for now. Part standardizations. This is extraction game. Flash in the pan, I guess. No, they, do, they do the hellhammers. Demo equipment, fire teams. Yeah, might as well. Um, anything else we really need to do? We can wait for that one if we need to. We can also wait for that one too. Masters of our fate. Well, we're running out of focuses here in the top, which is okay. <clears throat> Shark Club. Well, how about parlay with Miss with the Van Graffs? The Van Graffs may be may be our main rivals in the city, but they're cutting ruthless business folk. Well, no doubt see our advantage on them when we go to parlay with them. We'll make sure to hire them on our side and give them a favorable contract to ensure they're pacified. Of course. Of course. Why would we not? Oh, crap. I forgot about this, guys. My bad. Happens. Army training. Oh, we can't build labs. We need more civvies. 2,000. Not worried about that too much at all. Sure, military signing bonuses sound pretty good. Do we need more guns? Melee equipment. Chop shop. Bikes probably don't need that. That's okay. Let's get into vehicles. Medical degrees, just in case. Uh huh. Weekly manpower, not really worth it, but whatever. A lot of industry and such. Uh, what else we got here? Economic advisors. Hmm. We read these earlier. Oh, tourism season results. Great. Street smarts. Root out resistance is not bad. War penalty stability modifier. Uh, worst part wouldn't be bad. We lose political power, less damage to garrisons. You know what? I don't like losing political power, but we got already a few others that gave us political power. And we're kind of going down this route anyways. Tiariat, Tiariat Van Grass. But are we going ballistics or not ballistics? Political power. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe we'll wait for that one first. Let's try a commander. Well, too bad we didn't do all these other ones. Oopsie. The Shark Club. Shark Club is a symbol of power and civility in the wasteland. We should invest in our newly found funds into the casino to drive our profits even further. Well, the Shark Club, we'd be nothing but a bunch of thugs with no class to them. Ash Wednesday. Jacuzzi Janissaries. Our mercenary Janissaries like to spend their days laying in the jacuzzi. As it turns out, they somehow made this a business as they pull in thousands of dollars a day. How do they manage to blow a stone off? Who the heck knows? And then eventually Californian investments. Some new Californian investors. Which is your arms industry thrive so that they can exploit it years down the line should the NCR go to war. We're now simply a free arms factory we can use for our own devices, but the masters of our fate. Okay, so they, they're there those who say Reno cannot expand outward and it lies divided because no family's in charge. Don't let that fool you. There's one family which acts as an unofficial leader and that is... I'll have to wait and see. Just a moment. Or won't we? A rambling old man. Oh, would you look at that? Mm. Nerina tourists have found an oddity this past few weeks. An old man called himself Grandpa Figley, dressed in tribal garb and decorated by string lace bones, a sitting in the street corner near the center of the, center of the city, rambling and raving about the degeneracies of civilization. The old man occasionally draws a small crowd of entertaining listeners, till one day a junkie finds him laying on a heap of garbage, blood trickling from under his ragged shirt, and. So we definitely need more infantry equipment, spec ops, anti-tank, all that good stuff. Um, it's fine. Less than a thousand. We have eighteen thousand. Not bad. Mm. And that's why we buy equipment. Trade knowledge. See you in Valley, huh? Nice. That's fun. Can we increase it yet? Yes, we can. Level 8 is pretty good. X. 
Excellent, and we can do another one. Fantastic. Tank. Great. Ash Wednesday. Leave it to a woman to do a man's job, am I right? Having gained a seat in New Reno's council and positions of power in the family services, the Van Graffs were positioned for the next step. Ash Wednesday. On a single day and night, they used their energy weapons to burn the families of New Reno into submission, and immediately set about reordering the town. No longer would be content to add on vices on the leavings of the new California economy. Mama Van Graff was going to teach Errol, Aaron Kimball a lesson he wouldn't forget. How illuminating. Oh, that's cool. The Van Graffs are back in town. Oh, this is... Tiaret, Mama Van Graaff. Tiaret, they call her. I'm probably saying that wrong. Tiaret. The Linus, while nobody knows whether it is her real name or not, is quite a fitting name for the ruthless matrix of the Van Graaff family. An enigmatic figure, dreaded by many. One of the most brave of wastelanders even dare to speak of her name in hushed whispers in the dark alleys of New Reno. Cold and calculating, Tiaret is no ordinary mobster, unlike other families in Reno. She has no code, no morality, nor any allegiance. Living only for the profit, she will not hesitate to pull the trigger on anyone. Some may call this treachery, she calls it business. Sending Victoria to the grades of thousands who underestimated her, she's determined to teach an NCR lesson about underdogs. Interesting. Cool. Ah, the Queen of Reno. Four units of Van Graaff employees will join our army. Nice. You get advanced special forces, which I do want. I have plasma weaponry schematics, that's pretty good too. That's good. Good, good, good. I'm going to be heavy on the energy weaponry. That's actually pretty darn good for each production. Claim on Reading. Advanced Electronics. We're not there quite yet. All lead, roads lead to Reno. Or dollars. Creating an opening. Sure, Reno's the biggest little city in the world, but why confine ourselves to such a little city? We're a big power in the ways, and it's time that that was recognized. Why not expand our borders a little? The Vipers, those strange little fanatics along the border, have been keeping us from making headway into the new acquisitions for years now. Let's show them who's top dog. So can we get... Oh, we still can get her. Okay. TRF, at Mama Van Graaff sees the power in Reno. The big circle is in a state of shock as the balanced power in New Reno allows a return following a coup by the Van Graaffs. And what has been dubbed as Ash Wednesday, all the Van Graaffs' rivals have been vaporized in a single night. Quickly, <clears throat> taking control of the streets of Reno, the Van Graaffs, led by TRF, at Mama Van Graaff, have emerged as the sole remaining power in New Reno, with Reno finally unified under a single family after decades of infighting. One of the West's largest cities poised to begin a campaign of expansion in Nevada. Flanked by guards armed with plasma rifles, TRF, at Mama Van Graaff. <clears throat> Announced that New Reno will be reorganized to provide only the highest quality of energy weapons. Down with all the neighboring NCR, whose long history of the Van Graaffs has always been tumultuous, reacts to the family's seizure power. Time to show the bear who really runs Nevada. That's right. We're here to expand and get bigger. So, what do we got here? So, Spec Ops is looking pretty good. They're not great. They're purple. Huh. Should get some fire teams when I need to. Help defend and whatnot. If we're doing anything for land doctrine, we probably should continue on with that at the very least. Local workspaces, that's fine. Forgot about that too. My bad. Stability's always nice. Creating an opening. That's right. This ends. Um, so, jacuzzis. People support us fine. How many more days must we wait for this? Uh, we can do this one first. Do we have an expiration date on this one? No, that's good. California Investments we read. Uh, new Reno Radio. Constructing radio towers across Reno would be useful for both entertainment, as we can broadcast music, but also the ways of subterfuge and communicating with mobsters and other armies. Hedging, hedged, hedged bets. Fortifying the ex-Yakuza territory should be good enough disincentive for any more radar groups to take refuge in the area. Also, with potential enemies growing in the south and west, it was never bad to hedge your bets. Oh, Warren Kimball's been elected too, hasn't he? I'm real surprised we couldn't win here. So, oh, look at that. Royal, yeah, Royal, yeah. Very nice. Surprised we're not winning here. I'm gonna force the attack. Not bad, not great, not bad, not bad. Sure. Look at that. The goal is hold him in place, but expand as much as we possibly can. Good. Yeah, it cuts him off. Hmm. 
They're gonna die literally fighting. They're gonna die where they're fighting. Well, I'm not going to go for doors, but whatever. I could have gone for that one, done quite well. Nice. Profits. I love the drugs. Uh, that's probably fine. Good. Designs on the dim. Rebecca is one of the few nuisances of the Plague Nerino. Fortunately, our citizen soldiers are ready to protect our nation and its interests. Even if it's an interest in making sure people only use our smooth, refreshing jet. Oh. Right this route, so. Enlightened teachers. The people claim to call themselves civilized, but there's more to civilization than living in the burnout ruins of a town before town time. Before time town. We can set up school for poor people if they only let us send a mayor to supervise them. Sure, yeah, why not? Looks pretty bad, but if we take territory, we might go to war with new, uh, the Vault City as well. Should be fine. Especially supporting the defense, but still. That's not good. I mean, fighting over there is not good either, but still. You could be smart and go here, and then do that. But I guess you didn't want to be smart. There you go. Cheaper warfare. Nice. The more cows we take, the more territory we might be able to take, so that would also be very good. Empire's a little precious here and there. Tolerate the Slaver's Guild. Huh. The dense practices may be unsavory, but they've provided labor at the Vault City and others for decades. Reno's a tolerant community, and we're certainly not going to meddle in local practices. Tasty protein. There you go. And we're certainly getting our army XP out of this. Do you have any planes? Okay, that's not bad. Vipers are pretty tough. There we go. <clears throat> Vault City ain't gonna like this. But that's alright with us. We don't care what they want. And they can come fight it for us if they don't like it. Uh, okay, Corn the Den or Sister City. The Den has long been ruled by the dead B. Mordinos that we kicked out of Reno decades ago. But they persisted and continued their hostilities with us. However, now that they're going gone, we can finally repair our relations with the Den's people and ensure their loyalty. And all roads lead to Reno. All roads le truly lead those looking for a night of fun to Reno. Investing in the local infrastructure sure to lead us into more business and, of course, into profit. But I think we wanted there. We're doing really well. We, I definitely wanted to get uh, uh, Mama Van Graaff, and we have. I think this is looking pretty darn good. Van Graaff's looking nice and thick. Got quite a bit of resistance here and there, but nothing that a couple of switchblades can't fix, so... If you enjoyed the episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we we'll continue on with the Van Graffs and maybe eventually take out the NCR. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.